Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to import video into Cinema 4D materials. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, have had problems with Cinema 4D reading the .move files. Uh, a lot of people are on the message boards or at least saying that it goes black and I had the same problem. So if you're having that problem, you're at the right video. I'm going to show you how to fix that in Adobe After Effects by creating a JPEG sequence and bringing that over to Cinema 4D. So I'll show you an example of kind of the problems I was having before. Um, I had kind of my animation going and then the screen would turn black. Uh, that was because I was using .move files. And then once I switched over to the JPEGs, uh, you can see that the video file plays through the entire animation. So let's get started. We'll head over to Adobe After Effects. So now we're back here in Adobe After Effects and I have my composition here. It's about 4,100 frames. One of the things that you're going to want to remember is your frame rate from Cinema Earth from After Effects for when you take it to Cinema 4D. Uh, so when you render from Cinema 4D, you're rendering at the same frame rate so everything times up. So the first thing that we're going to want to do once you ha understand your frame rate is click on Composition, Add to Render Queue. Come down here on the Output module, click on the Lossless. And one of the things that I had trouble with, uh, the QuickTime, uh, Animation, uh, PNG, I even rendered in TIFF. Um, for some reason, those codecs aren't being able to be read uh, in Cinema 4D, so if you click on JPEG Sequence, uh, you can click on Format Options and change your file size, um, but that's not really that important. If you, you know, you're doing your final render, probably bring that up a bit. Click on OK over here. Click on Render. Uh, I already have one rendered out, so we'll head over to Cinema 4D. So now that we're back here in Cinema 4D, you're going to want to go find where all of your JPEG Sequence was put. So I put mine in this folder right here, and there's the 4,164th frame. Make sure you, you click on this, the very first frame. That's the last one because I'm on date modified. Go all the way to the top. Oh, God, this is going to take a bit. That actually helps it go faster, the sound effects. And you're going to want to find the very first one. Bring it over and just drag and drop it right in your materials. Click No. And so you now have this new material, double click it, there we go, and click on the bar, just make sure you guys can see it, this bar right here, and this is going to show you your basic shader and animation tabs. Click on animation, and what you're going to want to do is make sure this frame rate is the same, 30 frames a second. Click calculate, it's going to go from 0 to 4,164, so it read all the files that were in here at 30 frames a second and it's going to play now in Cinema 4D. Um, I already have one already set up under screen but it was set up the exact same way so I can just delete this and that's how you can be able to import a video into Cinema 4D materials without it turning black. So I hope that you found this helpful. Uh, if you did please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Casey Baker and thanks for watching.